Hello everybody! I thought I would break up this string of wrap-ups with a currently reading update. I was gonna do this on Friday and just didn't have the energy or the will to do it on Friday evening, so we're getting it on a Sunday instead. So this is what I'm currently reading and some of my library checkouts that I will be getting to next. A couple of weeks ago I finally cracked open Quicksilver by Neil Stephenson and read about 30 or 40 pages before I put the book down because it was so uncomfortable to hold that heavy book while reading it. And yesterday afternoon on Saturday, I finally bought the ebook and I read like 150 pages of this in one sitting. So I really should have bought the ebook a long time ago. My goal is to read this entire book like 700 more pages over the coming week. We'll see if that's possible or not because I have some other things going on. I'm gonna be out of town, but we'll see if I can do it. The other book that I need to get read before Friday is Phantom Pains by Michelle Baker. This is the sequel to last year's Borderline, which is urban fantasy about a woman named Millie who has borderline personality disorder. She survived a suicide attempt where she lost both of her legs and got mild brain damage. She stumbled across or into the Arcadia Project, which kind of manages fae or fairies from another world who come into ours. Anyway, I'm really enjoying the first 50 or so pages that I've read of this and I'm going to be talking about it with some friends, so I'm excited about that. Once I have finished those two books, I will be getting into these next two, which I have just barely started, but I don't have anything to say about them yet. The first one is The Pope of Physics, Enrico Fermi and the Birth of the Atomic Age by Gino Segre and Bettina Horlin. This is a biography of Enrico Fermi, who was a physicist involved in the Manhattan Project. I've heard bits and pieces about him from various nonfiction popular science books I've read before, and I wanted to read another biography this year. I really, really enjoyed Andrea Wolff's The Invention of Nature, which is a biography of Alexander von Humboldt, and since I had such a great experience with my first biography book, I wanted to try another one. Uh, the other book I've just barely started is The Name of the Rose by uh, Umberto Eco. This is an Italian novel translated into English by William Weaver, who I think is the same translator of Invisible Cities by Italo Calvino. Um, the Name of the Rose is an incredibly famous, like, international bestseller. It's a historical fiction mystery, and since it has monks and mysteries and all that stuff, and I really like Brother Cadfile, I, I've wanted to try reading it for years. I'm not saying it's anything like Brother Cadfile. It's, it's nothing like Brother Cadfile. Um, Coincidentally, Denise just read this and she published a video where she talked about it right after I had gotten it from the library, so... Um, yeah, I'm really excited to read it. She really liked it, and I think I'm gonna really like it, too. Um, after I finish those two, or maybe while I'm still reading them, because I just bounce around all over the place these days, um, I have two that I want to get to soon. The first one is Proof of Concept by Gwyneth Jones. This is one of the Tor.com novellas that was on my most anticipated list of the year. I'm really looking forward to this. And the other one is In the Shadow of the Moon. It's a very new book. It's very shiny. The subtitle is covered up by the barcode. The Science, Magic, and Mystery of Solar Eclipses by Anthony Aveni. Um, I just read and uh, talked about in a wrap-up that you'll see soon about Sun, Moon, Earth by Tyler Nordgren, which is another nonfiction book about solar eclipses because we're all turning into solar eclipse junkies right now because the American eclipse is coming up in August. Um, I like Nordgren's book, but I immediately looked for a more in-depth book on solar eclipses, and this new release just showed up my library, and it is a bit longer and definitely denser, judging by the size of the type, so I'm um, gonna give this a shot. And that is it for what I'm currently reading and what I plan on reading next. This coming week um, I will probably be incommunicado for a little while. I've got some work stuff and some out-of-town stuff coming up, but then the week after this next one I'm gonna be on vacation, and I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing reading-wise, but I'll probably set myself an ambitious TBR for that week and then not actually read anything. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I always say I'm gonna read a bunch of things when I'm on vacation and that never really seems to happen because I just sleep or watch television instead, but vacations, you know? So yeah, that is what I'm up to right now. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will talk to you again soon. And until then, bye.